Hey, what's up, guys? This is Denny from Modern Productions, and I'm doing a tutorial on uh, one point, how to make a Minecraft server for 1.7. Um, pretty much, I'll just change every time there's a new version of uh, 1.7 out. I'll just change the download link, and you can just edit yourself. And um, the first things first, you'll need uh, you'll need to go to the site. Uh, it's gonna be an ad fly. So just click on the first ad fly link, and you'll be here. And craft bucket. Oh boy! Oh, you like to take this? Oh, where do you have it? So I just save it. Uh, once it's saved, do not open it. It can actually corrupt the files. Um, you want to just drag, have it on your desktop. Press enter on it. Um, rename it so it just says craft bucket dot jar. And that's what it should look like. Create a new folder. Name it server or whatever you really want. It doesn't really matter. And just drag the craft bucket dot jar in there. Okay, so hold on, let me go inside my other worlds, so I copy, or actually let's just open this up with text edit, and this is the code that's going to be in the description, um, if you want to make it less RAM, if you don't have uh, 4 gigs RAM, you want to change this to, um, I guess, if you have 2 gigs of RAM, change it to 1000, both of them, you gotta change to 1000, so yeah. Um, just copy and paste that. Open up text edit. Paste it in there. Uh, format it as make plain text. Save as. Start dot command. It has to be that, and just save it inside that new folder. And then what you want to do from here is open up terminal. And if I'm going too fast for any of this, just leave a comment. I will read it, and I will personally help you. Um, and what you want to type in here is chmod space a plus x space. Open up a uh, start dot command, drag it in there, press enter, and that's what that's gonna do. Close terminal, open up your server, double click the start dot command. And I keep, as you can see, you see all, all these files just generated from the craft bucket dot jar. Um, start dot command makes it faster to log in and whatnot. There is a shorter way, um, I will teach you that right now, as well, right after this. At least I hope it still works. I'm going to test it out really fast, so. Alright guys, we'll let the world generate. I put 2.5 gigs on it, so it runs smooth. Okay. I'm sorry for not uploading lately. I've been busy doing let's plays and I have to edit those in and upload them to Craft Bunch Gaming. So you want to subscribe to that and I also did a commentation or commentary with Chatty Cheese. Uh, let's play for uh, Monarch House of Madness. I believe Monarch Madness actually. I did that with him so that was really fun. Um, I hope I still remember this. This was a weird code for me. CD space, drag your folder in, press enter, um, get the, I'm just gonna open up this terminal, get the Java code in, uh, and that starts up the same exact way. So CD space, drag your server folder in, and then just drag the, uh, just drag the Java in, or copy and paste it. So that was really easy. Uh, and you always play. Oh, sorry, guys. I woke up. Give me do a tutorial. What you always want to do before closing your server, just because it's safer, you want to save all. 
and then when it's safe complete, you want to type in stop, stop because uh, just to stop the server. And if you don't do that, it actually doesn't save anything that you that anybody did on your server. It'll just destroy it. It'll pretty much like not even be there. Okay, now it's to the point where hold on, uh, five minutes into this. Okay, so if you have to make yourself up. So let's start up terminal again. Let's start document. Just double click it, and you want to opt yourself. So opt Beaster, Beaster twenty seven. Opting Beaster twenty seven. Okay, but another thing is, you have to put forward. <sighs> Sorry, yes. And the best way to port forward is opening up your port map, of course. I open up my port map, which is fine. And once you open up your port map, you have to have you have to add, you have to make it two five five six five. But if that doesn't work, you can also also do two five five six six because that's not a recommend. It's not a recommended one because it's not created for Minecraft so far. But it just depends on all these different codes that that can mix and match um, with the public ports and stuff. And you want to go to your browser, um, and you want to type. Usually, it's different. It could be one point or one nine two point one six eight point zero point, or it could be point one point one minus point zero point one. So I'll leave a list of how many there are. And if there's passwords, I'll help you with the passwords because I know all the passwords and uh, logins and all that. If you have any, you and you want to go to advanced setup. Once you're there, you want to go to um, Advanced Port Forwarding or UHDP or U UDHP. I don't know exactly, but I can help you. Just Skype me, I'll screen share, or you'll screen share, and I'll do everything for you. And you, the Enter Port IP range, which is 25565. I know mine's 25566, but I'm actually going to. And then your IP address is actually whatever port map gives you right here. That's your IP. And then you just add it. And there, that's actually done. And then that's actually done. And then if you have any applications that you have to actually do, because I'm not sure, um, everyone has a different one. And then and you still have to enter your IP. And then. Have to add it. Oh, it already exists. And then you just create something. It's really stupid, but it works. And then wait, did I save that? If I didn't. No, I didn't. Okay, well, let's do that again. Two five five six five two five five six five. Uh, okay. And it's gonna be on TCP always. And just add it. Mine already has it, so yeah. Um, and what you do with port map, you want to always have it open. So two five five six five, and you have to have both of these up, and then you have to change the description to like MC or something. I did it some like some weird name because sometimes it messes up. See how it's at uh, two five five six five and two five five six six. Um, it keeps on messing up on mine. I used to have it two five five six five, but uh. Letting your parents borrow your computer kind of ruins it. And then all you want to do is start up Minecraft to log into your server. To log into your own server, it is local host. To let other people log into your server, this is what is my IP. And you give them this your IP. <coughs> Sorry, guys. Uh, yeah, and then you just give them your IP, and then they have to do the colon 25566 or 25565. It, they have to try both of them. And you don't want to update to 1.7.3 because uh, I'll give you an update to it. Um, it can also work whatever your computer IP is, like your route, router, uh, 
your computer's router, like the, the one that's built in. Um, if you don't know what that is, you can just type in this. There. And then you connect. And um, if you want this texture pack, it'll be in the description. Um, it's a pretty cool texture pack. It's all, you don't have to do anything to it. It's already done. Um, so yeah, guys, please sub, like, and favorite. Uh, and please comment if you need help. I will be glad to help everyone that I can. And if it becomes to a point where there's too many, I will have to make an appointment for you guys because um, in the next month I will be kind of busy with the job and all. And yeah, so I'll have a real job. And if I can be partnered to, that will be great because I'm actually going for that chance. So please share with your friends. Share with anybody that loves Minecraft share anything um, I can make servers for pretty much anything because they're really simple they're really not that hard it just depends on what system you have and if you're a PC user sorry um, I'm not I can't I used to have a PC and it's hard as balls to make a Minecraft server for a PC because uh, like their there's command prompt just doesn't make sense as, as well as the uh, as well as terminal because terminal is clear and the only thing I like about command prompt is you can watch the movies on it illegally so um, but yeah I mean that's the only thing command prompt is really good for and getting inside of a person's computer without Skype or something and you can do that too but that's why for PC you gotta be careful on how you who you give your IP to because anybody can hack it so uh, if you guys want another way of there's other ways like uh, Hamachi to get in and Hamachi uh, is in my old videos 1.6.6 it still works with this you just gotta do everything that's from inside that one and then uh, if you guys want more plugins message me on what plugins you want me to do a tutorial on the only ones I can't do is the ones that you need a PC for, so there's a lot of them out there because, you know, I can't get towny. I wish, I mean, I can, uh, but I can't control it as well as PC users, so, um, okay, I just noticed that. Uh, leaves go back if you hit them with your hand. Um, as you can see, I have no mods. Uh, I've been updating. I, I've been updated. And so guys, uh, thanks, please sub, like, and favorite, and if you like that panda, um, which I do, I love this panda, come here panda, 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 let me see your face, wow, stop giving me the butt, oh, that's a cow, I thought that was a panda, oh, cow panda is dead, and so, Guys, again, sorry. Please like, sub, and favorite because uh, I take the time on, on you guys. I, I, mean, I really wish I could help everyone, and if I can't, I'm sorry. Like, there's a lot of there's a lot of incidents where some people can't just put forward. And just remember this: you have to, if you're on a Mac, update to ten point six point eight. If you don't have that, servers don't run very well. And they can crash your computer. So. And if you guys want me to do Let's Plays on this channel more often, please uh, leave a comment saying, yeah, and then at 10 likes, I'll actually think about keeping this world. At 10 likes, I'll have somebody from anyone, from anyone in the in YouTube community, uh, I'll have them join my server and do Let's Plays with me. We'll do up to 10 episodes, and if they go good from there, we'll do them all. So we'll do as much as we can. Alright, thanks guys, and please sub, like, and favorite, and remember, there's a giveaway that I'm doing, uh, two Minecraft accounts that I'm giving away for free, and, uh, I didn't buy those yet, so, until I get those 500 subs, I'm not gonna post the, who's gonna be the winner, and I will do this legit, I will give it to one of my friends that really need Minecraft. I was thinking about doing that, but I was like, no, I'm not gonna do it, so, um, so all my friends don't have no chance to win. I'm not gonna give it to any of my friends in case they do enter. Um, so 
So pretty much anybody that's in my cell box can't win. And plus they already bought Minecraft. And um I'll be uploading the Chatty Cheese video uh with Chatty Cheese and me where we went and discovered some monarch madness. And yeah, please sub him. He was really cool to hang out with. He's also going to win at 2,000 subs, and he's willing to give away one Minecraft account. I'm giving away two Minecraft accounts. Uh, don't forget, he's smart. And, uh, yeah, please sub, like, and favorite. That, and this is how you make a Minecraft server for 1.7. I will change the link every time it's updated. So, if the link is broken, just comment. Thanks. Bye.